Kim Jong-un reportedly making a surprise visit to Beijing. It's his first foreign trip since taking power in 2011. Kim's visit to China coming weeks before he's set to meet with South Korean President Moon uh, in uh, the next month and President Trump arguably in May. The United States showing off the fifth generation F-35B Lightning uh, jets ahead of next month's joint military drills uh, with South Korea. The jets are outfitted with stealth technology uh, to help uh, avoid radar detection. And as you see there, it lands, can land vertically, just like a helicopter. Extraordinary aircraft. Joining us tonight, former vice chief of the staff of the Army, as well as retired four-star general Jack Keane, now Fox Business Senior Strategic Analyst. General, good to have you with us. Good to be here, Lou. Well, let's start with the Russians. Uh, sending home 60 folks, uh, that's an impressive move. Never before that many sent, even during the Cold War. Uh, but what do you make of it? Well, listen, uh, the strength of it is it's being done by 20-plus nations. And certainly our numbers are larger than anybody because we have, obviously, the, the most uh, Russian diplomats in this country. Um, usually that, that doesn't get much consequence in terms of changing behavior. But I think uh, the idea has got to be dawning on Mr. Putin by now that he's truly dealing with a different president in the United States and, and Mr. Trump, uh, given, as mentioned in the introduction, all the things we have done to push back on Russia. I I'm absolutely convinced of this, Lou. The thing that Putin has paid the most attention to, the single thing, is the buildup of the United States military and the FY18 and FY19 budget. Putin is looking at that as deja vu. He remembers the Reagan military buildup, which actually forced the economic collapse of the Soviet Union. And he sees the real money being applied, real capabilities. For example, the commander of our forces in Europe, in testimony last week, is calling for increased U.S. troops to be put on the Russian border as a deterrence force. And in the budget that, he, that we just approved and he signed, there's three times amount of money in that given the past uh, investment. So it's six and a half billion dollars. That means more troops, more capabilities. Mm -hmm. That is something that truly gets Putin's attention. I, I'm sure it does, as you say, but you've also instructed as well in terms of some of the deficiencies of, of our military. Uh, the, uh, the, the fact is we have a smaller fighting force than almost any, at any time in, uh, in memory. 75 uh, years. And, and we have, at the same time, a deficiency against hypersonic weapons, with the Russia, which the Russians have been funding and developing for years while we have lagged, thanks in large measure to sequestration, uh, but also uh, the, the policies of the uh, Obama administration and the preoccupation of the Bush administration with wars uh, in, in the Middle East. Yeah, well, these two budgets in of themselves will not fix the military, but they clearly are an initial good first installment to put us on a path to do that. We need about five or six years of budgets mm -hmm. similar to that, and hopefully the Congress will figure out a way to keep doing that without increasing the overall deficit as much as they uh, continuously se seem to be doing. But yes, that will get Mr. Putin's attention. I, and I think uh, others have said the same, is that eventually we've got to do something about Putin and his cronies and the money, because he's one of the richest, richest men in the world, and he doesn't have all of his money in Russia, for sure. And we, we can tie that up, and, and that will actually get his attention, particularly the cronies around him as well. Uh, Kim Jong-un, in Beijing, we can say reportedly, uh, what do you make of it? Well, if it's true, I, I, I really think it's the Chinese uh, trying to exert a little control here. They're probably a little concerned that North Korea's leader and the United States leader are going to meet, uh, you know, one on one, so to speak. And that kind of takes China out of that process. They're inserting themselves back in the process. And remember, we have always looked at this as adults here on your show. We always knew that China has had control over North Korea right from the beginning after the war was over. And nothing happened in, in North Korea in terms of nuclear weapons and missiles without China's approval. That's the reality of it. So I think that's what this is about, trying to get Kim Jong-un's attention. And hopefully 
China is going to play ball here and move this thing in the right direction. But we got to be skeptical about China. Yeah. And, and we always got to keep our eyes wide open when we're dealing with them because they have played us just as much as the North Koreans have all these years. General, as always, good to see you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah, good talking to you, Lou.